today I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine. Um, because I, I've been asked that a lot. Like, you know, when I first started wearing makeup, I didn't really know how to properly take care of my face. So it was just like breaking out like all the time. And um, I never really had breakouts growing up. Like I never had, I didn't have acne prone skin. So, so I will be showing you guys next what products that I use for my face and how I properly wash my face. And you know, of course I'm gonna disclaim right now, let you guys know that just because it works for me, it may not work for you. But I can also say that maybe it's one product that doesn't work for you and you can, you know, exclude that one out and maybe substitute another one. But the other products that I use after I wash my face, can most likely of course help um and that's just like after i wash it and i want to you know put it on and then put my um moisturizer on that can possibly work for you but um yeah i'll be showing you guys that next so keep watching okay guys so i am live from the bathroom i look kind of weird because i had you sitting inside of the um inside of the medicine cabinet so um First things first is what I do before, you know, I um, wash my face. Of course, it's trying to get my hair out the way. But I can't find a rubber band to put my hair up, so we're just gonna toss this back, okay? And we're just gonna have to just keep it out the way for now. But first things first, you wanna make sure that you put water on your face. So that way, whatever product that we're putting on can stick. Now, if I was to have on, um, if I was to have on makeup, I would use a cleanser. Now I have here Pines. Um, this is like one of the Holy Grail, uh, like you know, products like you know, Grandma's Generation of Generations has to use. And as you can see, like I pretty much use most of this, and it's kind of like greasy, not greasy like greasy as a one from touch, but like as you scrub it, you know. It's like, it gets like a little greasy, whatever. Not greasy, like oily, but like thick. Greasy. So I put this much on my face and I'm basically like rub it in. And this is a cleanser. So I use this first. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna rub this in and then scrub it off. This is the scrub process. So you cleanse, then you scrub, and then you wash. So this is basically like exfoliator. So um, I'm gonna get deep into that skin, honey. Now what I do is like I don't let this type of stuff sit in. Um, I let my noxema sit in though. But um, I'm gonna rub this all over my face, and then I'm gonna scrub it off just like I did the ponds. So I'm gonna do that. So now that I just rinsed that off, I didn't like completely dry my face, I just like packed the towel in just so I could have my skin still like damp. Now I can, I can OD with this Noxema because honey, this stuff right here is like crack to me. Like, I, I can put this on a bump when, for the night before, the next day that bump is gone. I'm not even kidding. And I don't just like put it all over like this. I just like do dots wherever the bump is. I put, you know, the cream right there. And honey, it saves my life. I'm not even kidding. Now I let this sit in my face for like five minutes just until it dries. Like it dries pretty fast. So I just let this sit in and I scrub it and then I let it sit. So that way it can dry into my, you know, skin and it'll just like grab my pores. So I'm gonna scrub it and then I let it sit.
as you guys can see it's looking like really pale so i'm gonna go ahead and take my um cotton like pad things like this just one um, if i can get it out um one pad and i'm gonna take my witch hazel this is tn dickinson's witch hazel and you can use theirs theirs is really good as well um, and I'm just gonna, I like literally soak it. Like I want it to be like soaked. And I just wipe it on my face like that. I'm gonna take my aloe vera gel as you guys can see like I use this all the time like not just on my face but I use it, like on my body as well for like stretch marks and stuff like that so this like is like everything to me because it's like really wet I'm thinking I'm just gonna put like really literally like this much maybe like that too because you don't want to lie because li literally this goes a long way I'm just gonna put this all over my face shea butter on my face first but my aunt has this stuff called rose hip now I had something like this before but it was like mainly like rose water um, and it was literally just like this so um, you don't really need a lot of this because of course it's already whatever comes on this stick right here is what all you need and you just put like drops on here on your face and I'll just literally like let it fall down and then you just rub that in and then I'm gonna apply the shea butter now what this does is literally give you like this oh my god like this bomb glow and rose water itself helps your skin so much literally and I'm just gonna put a little bit more because I don't think I put enough on the sides here and literally on my eyelids so yeah Rose water itself, roses, really, really helps with um, skin as a whole, as in like making it the toner, like literally giving you a glow while also toning your skin, like all like the dark spots that you may have on your skin, it'll like tone it and make everything even and literally back to normal. Now, I'm going to take my shea butter, as you guys can see, like I... I use this to like the to the dust and I'm not gonna get rid of it until it's all gone. So I just take a chunk and I like wipe it across my face. Now I like my face to get like really oily because my face get dry in the nickel time. It's not even funny, but this worked for me all summer long because it literally had my face like highlighted and like glowed. It was not even funny. Now, as you guys can see, like, my face is, like, really glowing right now. The only thing that I'm, like, really, like, in the process of doing, it's been, like, three days now. I've been doing this treatment for my eyes to get, like, the pigment, pigment back in my eyes because they're were dark from the lack of sleep that I was getting, like, last year. So, that's, like, the only thing that I'm, like, really, really trying to work on. But as far as, like, my face... Pretty sure I got that like down packed. It's still like little dark spots, but it's pretty smooth for the most part. So I'm like glad about that. So like the dark spots, I really don't care about. Long as I don't have like a lot of bumps, like that's just like, you know, a no. We'll list everything below for you guys if you want, you know, to purchase these products. But like I said before, you know, most of these products may not work for you, but if they do, you know, like try it out for yourself. You know, you don't have to necessarily use like the products that I use, but I tend to go for products that's on the natural side. You know, I just wanted to show you guys my skincare routine because I feel like I'm doing pretty good with it. And it's like really making my face like 
glow, honey. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, and please feel free to subscribe while you're here. Uh, don't forget to like and comment on this video. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.